Hello everyone, I'm Yuri Petrash, and today we will talk about hooks for predatory fishing. A hook, as you know, is included in the top 20 of best human inventions. Why? Because they were used for fishing and hunting, and that allowed our ancestors to survive. Certainly in those ancient times, hooks were different from today. They were made out of stone, bone, pieces of tree. Today, there are a large number of hook manufacturers. They have different qualities and a large assortment. Today, we are going to talk about hooks suitable for catching predatory fish. As for me, I would distinguish three basic groups suitable for catching on silicon lures. The first group is a classic hook with a big eye. As a rule, it is of a small size. It is used for catching perch. The second group is an offset hook. It can be used to catch any predator. Depending on the size of the fish, there are small and large ones. The third group is the twin hook. Till recently, only Japanese hooks were considered to be the sharpest. But just a few years ago, producers from Korea were able to obtain a sharpness matching the Japanese. Modern hooks achieve their ideal sharpness only due to chemical sharpening. Some Korean manufacturers know the secret of this already, but beat the Japanese due to their cheaper price. That is an important deciding factor for a customer. Quite recently, the Fanatic brand placed an order for hooks from one of the best plants in Korea. Now, I would like to present the models we have in our assortment. The most popular and most often used model for our anglers is the S57 for catching perch. For amateurs and beginners, I will show you how to dress the lure. A lure such as red worm. Feed the worm up the hook. Expose the tip. And the baited hook is ready. In addition, we take a big demountable eye weight. We attach the mount, add the weight, pull it back. And there you go, the lure is equipped. You can see that using a big eye allows the lure to move freely. It is an important feature, because when the lure lies on the bottom, a perch can freely take it, does not feel the load of the weight. If it doesn't sense that anything is wrong, it takes it more voraciously. You feel a nibble and strike the rod. Here is the joint. It's a free joint that allows better movement of the lure. It is also easier for the predator to take the lure in its mouth. The next group of hooks are the offset hooks. They are considered the best group for anglers. Fanatic offset hooks, besides having double chemical sharpening and higher quality wire, also differ by having a larger eye. If we compare them to other brands, the eye is much bigger. What effect does this have? There are situations when it is necessary to attach a large weight onto a small offset hook. A large weight, as a rule, uses a thick wire, which hardly passes through the eye. Also, very often, due to the hook, it is limited in movement in some situations. The hook may even become wedged. When this happens, the lure cannot behave as it should and the fish may have difficulty taking the lure. A hook with a big eye, even when used with the heaviest weight and thickest wire, won't have this problem. Right now, I have a 45 gram weight with a thick wire, but the hook can still move freely. It demonstrates good animation, and the fish can swallow our bait easily. Again, for beginners, I will show you how a lure is equipped using an offset hook. For our example, we will take a classic twister. 
First, an angler must observe how an offset hook must look attached to the lure. Attaching a hook to the lure, we can see to begin with there is a step in the lure and then the hook appears near the tail. How can you create this step inside the lure? We hold the hook, we push it through, move it along, pass the offset step, drop here downward, we stretch out along the hook neatly, we look to where the hook must break through the body of the lure, push the tip through, we invert, inspect our work and the rig is ready. Other features can be achieved with this series of hooks by using some thread to hold the body against the curve of the hook. We get an arched effect. It increases the exposure of the hook tip but doesn't interfere from the predator's point of view. The fish takes it all in one go. For anglers who have got used to fishing with classic non-demountable big eye weights, it is necessary to use split rings. Getting split rings onto models of hook with a small eye is problematic enough. It can also lock up the hook. An offset hook with a large eye allows free movement and can spin around within the eye. Let me show you. Here we lead a hook and we see that the link is moving freely. Now I will dress an old hook and we'll be able to see the difference. Here now we see it very well, that for an old hook the eye can only be situated in a particular location, while a hook with a larger eye is able to move quite freely. Similarly, with very small offset hooks on our line, they also have a large eye and can be used with the smallest lures. There is the 3312 series that is suitable for a 1.6 inch lure. Here also feed up to the step. We hold the shank of the hook. We invert inwardly. We look to see where it must go through and we break through. Thus, we end up with a miniature lure. Now I'm going to dress it with a small weight. There, not a very big weight, 1.6 inch length, and it has an offset hook. Pay attention to the fact that the 3312 series is the smallest. There is another number 8 hook in the series, but it is coded 3315 and has a larger overall size. Here is an example. Both are number 8, but for some reason the 3312 series with a size 8 tip size is produced with a smaller shank length. The 3315 series are manufactured with a slightly larger overall size. If you need a size 8 offset hook for the smallest lures, then you need the 3312 series. The third kind of hook today is the twin. The Fanatic brand twin hook is made with a short Shank. Now, I would like to show you how it is possible to set lures using a twin. If your lure has a more vertical body at the exit point of the twin, then you need to repair the lure. I take a carpenter's awl. I make a tunnel through which the twin will be easier to lead. We remove the awl. Now the most important moment. If you are doing this for the first time, it is better to try it on old lures, because as a rule, the first few lures will be spoiled. So, we've attached the twin. From right to left we break through the lure. Here we break through it and we begin to lead. To begin, I open the hook with pliers. So, 
And now we direct it into that tunnel we made earlier. The twin is a little simpler to get through. Finally, we have a beautiful lure with a neatly led twin. With such a great appearance, the lure sits very well and firmly hooks the fish. But this is about lures which have a vertical body. There are lures which have a more horizontal body. Here is such a lure. If we mount a twin so the hooks are on each side as before, it will not sit well or look good. For the lures of such type, there is a much simpler method. We take a twin. We check where it should go through. In this case, here, behind the first rib. We simply insert the twin eye at this point and push it through the lure and, steadily, neatly, we press it through. Here is the eye. Align everything and the lure will look and hold perfectly. It allows the tail to work and does not allow the predator to tear the lure from the hook. As you have seen, for vertical lures we guide the twin through, and with a horizontal one we push the eye through. Well, naturally, every twin has a big eye too. This lure we use with a swivel joint. The swivel allows the lure to move around very easily, making it possible to really animate the lure. Just now, you have seen three types of hooks, which are intended for different fishing conditions. I've shown that they are intended for catching from the smallest to the largest ones. Here are offset hooks, also single hooks, and twins, which are more usual for all of us. Every angler knows that a hook must always be sharp. At Fanatic, due to the low prices, we give you the opportunity to change the hook at the right time, so you'll never lose a fish that has taken the bait. Subscribe to my channel. See you again in our next reviews.